Today we're taking a look at subscriber perks to help out all the people that are subbing to your channel. And we're doing this because a lot of people have been watching my videos and letting me know that they've reached affiliate status, which makes me super happy. So this video is for all you new up and coming or brand new affiliates out there. Hey, it's me, it's Wild coming at you for my stream support playlist where I bring you the best tips and tricks. And if this is your first time here and you want to learn how to grow and improve your stream, make sure you hit that big red subscribe button and tick that bell so you know when my videos go live for you. So how do we know if you want to offer subscriber perks? Well, it's completely up to each and individual streamer. Everybody's going to kind of have a different answer. It really comes down to how much do you want to reward the people that are help supporting you in your dreams and your goals on platforms like Twitch, YouTube, and Mixer? Now, if offering subscriber perks is something that you're interested in offering to your subscribers and your community members, you're in luck. I've made a list that's really going to help you out of ideas that you guys can use that's going to really grow your community and your subscriber list. Now, I've divided this into two sections. One is for free things that you can give back to your community, and one will be for extra funds that you have to put up front to fulfill the rewards that your subscribers will be going into. But it's up to you to pick and choose what will work best for your community. Like we said before, it's all about what's gonna work best for them. So pick and choose which ones you think will be good, and you can put these at any tiers that you want, tier one, tier two, and tier three. It's completely up to you on what you think will work best. All right, let's start with the free side of sub perks that you can offer to your subscribers. And we're starting out with one of the best ones. If you're a Twitch streamer out there that plays games, giving priority to subs on multiplayer games is one of the best things that you can do, and it shows a little appreciation. This doesn't mean you can't play with regular viewers or followers out there. It just means they get a little priority access when they jump in, and this is a great reward. A really common perk that you'll see a lot of people start out when they do to build hype within their stream when they get subscribers is start displaying that subscriber's name somewhere within the actual visuals of the stream. They'll generally write their name on like a whiteboard or chalkboard or put their name on like a balloon or some kind of like paper mache origami somewhere to display within their stream. And it makes a personal connection. This is a real easy one to do. You'll see a lot of girl streamers do this. Hey, if you got the assets, work it to your advantage. Nothing wrong with that. It's a really cool way to show your appreciation by bringing them into the physical plane of the stream and displaying them somewhere. And you can do this once a week, once a month, and refresh it and start over, but it's completely up to you and it's a good one to start with. One of the main reasons people subscribe to your channel is because they like you. So why not give them a little bit more of you? Or to be more specific, why not give them an easier way to communicate with you? And you can do this with Discord. Just make a subscriber only channel within your Discord and give access to those people. You can even do the same thing with like TeamSpeak. You can also move this into social media platforms as well. Hey, do you have a Snapchat out there? You can give people access to that that subscribe to you on that platform. Or you can follow people back on like Twitter and Instagram. There's a lot of different things you can do with social media in these aspects. And it's a great way to keep the lines of communication open to grow and retain your subscriber count. Now let's just say you've got a pretty decent amount of subscribers in your channel. And let's just say they're all really cool. You've got a really good uniformity around everybody. Everybody likes everybody. You know what's a really cool subscriber perk that's popping up a lot recently? Is doing a sub movie night. Something like a sub Sunday that you can do on a platform like Rabbit. I'll put a link in the description below. But you can all watch a movie together or you can watch an anime series together. And the cool kicker about this, as long as you don't mind watching movies with others, is it gives you something common to talk about in your next stream and it'll engage a lot of other people to want to join into this because you're going to create hype around it. So doing something like a movie night is a great way to get new subscribers and it's a nice kicker to get people to talk in your next stream. Now, if you're creative out there or better yet, if you're not creative, one of the fun subscriber perks that you can do, the moment you get a subscriber, you can do a doodle of something that they recommend. A walrus, a dinosaur, it doesn't matter. It's completely up to you. But it's a fun little way that you can do something within the moment to show your appreciation for that streamer. And it's kind of a little better if you have no creative talent at all because it makes it a little more fun for the stream. Now, if you have any kind of social media that you can do on your phone or an easy way to take a picture, sometimes just sending a goofy picture to the person that subscribes to you or just posting on your channel is something easy and fun to do. You can make this whimsical, you can make it goofy, but it's actually a very easy and effective way of one, expanding your reach on social media and marketing, and two, showing your appreciation for your community. 
And for all you gamers out there, if you get a subscriber, you can do something kind of unique depending on what game you play. You can play on the next round or match a certain setup that the subscriber recommends for you. You can do this in a lot of fun games. They'll probably make something challenging or something kind of odd, but it's a great way for you to show appreciation that doesn't really take much effort and it makes them smile and lets them know that they're appreciated for the subscription that they just gave for you. So give that a shot if you're a gamer out there. And there you go. Those are some easy free subscriber perks that you can offer your community. Feel free to put your own in the list there, but that will help you out. But what about some that may cost you a little extra money to get started? Well, these are the fun ones that your community is really going to love. One of my favorite ones that costs barely any money is actually just sending a postcard with a nice note on the back. It's a really cool personal connection and it only costs you a few cents. Heck, it only costs you the price of a stamp to send it out. But it makes a strong personal connection and shows that you're really trying to grow and build your community. So give that one a shot. Now, depending how far you are in your streaming career, you may have some really cool personal branding that people want from you. You know what you can offer up? Actual your personal branding. This is something I got from one of my friends that I sub to on his channel and he does his own work that he prints out and gives out to his subscribers depending on how long you've been a subscriber for or what tier you're at. And this is a great reward because nothing's cooler than getting a little bit of their personal branding or their personal art that they can send to you. Now going along with the personal branding or personal art, if you are creative, why not make a little reward, depending on what tier or how long, of something that's very easy to craft or create that you can send? Again, this will fit in like a media mail or priority mail, or sometimes a single stamp will get this, and this is a great little perk too. I like painting certain things, and I like sending them out, and I'll tell you what, it pays off gangbusters at times. Now again, depending on how many subscribers you have, you may want to consider doing something like a gift card giveaway. You know, sometimes you hit milestones and you want to do something really cool for your subscribers. Maybe hit 50 subs or 100 subs and you want to give some cool rewards back. A gift card is actually a really cool way. Now a lot of people are going to recommend doing a digital gift card. And you know what? That's kind of easy. If that's all you can do, I recommend doing it. Just do a normal giveaway through your bot and send them the, uh, you know, the 24 digit code or how many numbers and letters it's going to be to the winner over there. But you know what I think is actually cooler? Sending them a real gift card. And here's why. One, you get to write them a note and let them know that you get to thank them for their personal support for however long they've been helping and you get to say thank you. So boom, personal touch. Two, you can send in some personal branding material to them like your business cards or where they can find your artwork or where they can find your stream or your schedule and they'll promote that a little from them on their side with their friends and their family. So you may even get a little kicker of more people coming to your stream after that. And that's the cool thing about sending a physical gift card because you never know who knows who on Twitch. They may talk about it on their streaming channel or they may talk about how they won something in another streamer's channel and it may cause a little bit of a hype for people to come check you out. Now let's say you want to do a physical giveaway. It's not going to be a gift card or anything like that. Maybe it's going to be like a game or something that you personally made or own that you're going to give away for a milestone or just for the fact that you've got so many subscribers. Here's a cool little tip that I want to pass out to all you people right there. Make it something visual that people know that you're building. Like maybe you're going to do a giveaway once a month or every milestone. What I like to do, I like to write all the names on an actual ticket and put it in here and shake it up. And as I get subscribers throughout the month or the milestones, I will eventually pull names out of here and I will send them a prize or make something for them. And it's cool because people see that the tickets are going to use and the fact that it's physical and they can build some train hype. So, you know, get some tickets. I'll put a link in the description below where you can pick these up. It's very easy. It kind of goes back to the days of when we all went to Chuck E. Cheese. Everybody likes getting tickets, you know? So this is a fun little cool thing and it's visual. So that way, every time you get a subscriber, write a name down, put it on here, give it a good old shake and pull a name out of there every now and then. If you've got the stomach for it and you've got the passion to grow your community, you know what's a really fun one that you'll see with a lot of people? Doing Bean Boozled. It's actually a very easy thing to get. I'll put a link in the description below of where you can buy it on Amazon, but they sell it in a lot of stores. Every time you get a subscriber, you can just flick the pinwheel and you have to pick out a, a jelly bean and eat it. A lot of people kind of like this for the fun, goofy, cringe factor, but it's something very easy to do. And you know, it doesn't cost a lot of money to do this as a subscriber perk. But just a fair warning, if you get a subscriber train, oh my God, will your stomach hurt later on. So be careful about what you can do for how many beans you can put in your tummy. 
And there you go. There are a ton of great subscriber perks that I just gave you. But you're probably wondering, what do I think is the best subscriber perk? That's an easy answer. It's your emotes. It's the simplest one and it should be the best one that you have. Now I have a video coming up on this soon that I'll put up in the card and the link in the description below when I have finished it. But it basically goes over what makes a good emote and what makes a good subscriber badge. These are very important to grow your stream because one, it shows that your community loves you and your brand. And two, it does a little extra marketing when they use it in another stream. So if you haven't had the chance or you just got newly affiliated, work on those emotes. Now, if you're wondering what kind of subscriber perks that I offer in my channel, I like to keep it simple. When I first started out, I had way too many and it got way too confusing and I couldn't keep up. So I kind of reduced mine, refined mine and made mine impactful. Whenever I have any subscribers, they get priority in any multiplayer game that I'm playing. And I do my best to keep everybody rotating in and out to keep them happy. My other subscriber perk that I offer is I do discounted birthday paintings. I mean, as you can see from my paintings back here, everybody likes them. So I give them a huge discounted rate on them and all they have to do is pay the discounted rate plus shipping and everybody's super excited for that one. So I just kept mine down to two basic ones for the most part because kind of gets hard to keep up with them depending on what you do. But again, it's completely up to you and what you want to have for your stream and your community. Just try your best to keep on top of it. Now, just a bro note, bro tip, bro advice for all of you people out there. I don't recommend doing any subscriber perks. They're going to interfere with your personal life. Things like Skype and Facebook. These can have negative repercussions on you and your personal life. So I kind of recommend distancing those from you and your community. But again, it's completely up to you. You know what's really super important? Making sure with your subscriber perks, it's not gonna alienate any part of your community. You wanna make sure you drive the point across that to be a part of your community, they don't have to subscribe to you. It's just a little extra bonus. Remember, this is all about people helping out for you to reach your goals and dreams on Twitch. You don't wanna alienate anyone and you don't wanna make them feel the only way they can participate in your community is by subscribing to you. Subscriber perks are one of the best ways to pay appreciation back to your community. And if somebody does subscribe to you, one of the best bro notes I can give for all you bros and bays out there is take a moment of your time, stop your stream for a little bit and say thank you. Give all the appreciation you can because somebody just spent their hard earned money on you because you're creating high quality content. The best thing you can do is be polite, have fun, make them smile, make them laugh. Never forget, it's all about unity when building your community. Dang, that was pretty deep. So always stick with the people that are helping to support you because they're going to get you through some very tough times on Twitch, YouTube, and Mixer. Hey, if you guys like this video and you want to show your support, make sure you leave a comment below. And if I missed a subscriber perk that you think is worth mentioning, put it down in the notes below so that way we can share it with the whole community here. And if you want to keep up with me on my social media and know when my videos go live or when I'm putting new artwork up, make sure you follow me on my Twitter and my Instagram. And if you want to see me paint live on Twitch or play some games every now and then, make sure you follow me on twitch.tv slash wildforgames. I love seeing all of you there and helping everyone out that I can. Thank you so much for watching this video. I will see all of you next time in my stream support video coming up real soon. Take care. Peace.